<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! And as it is with tradition, we start with a black screen because I need to open up the game. <sighs> I missed my two my two monitor setup, but it's okay. I think you guys should be able to see all this now, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yep, I think you guys should be able to see this. Uh now. Once again, let me know how the audio is. And we can take things from there. But I think we should be good. <clears throat> Uh, how's my cough? You sound a lot better. Yeah, it is a lot better, Sergeant Dragon. Thank you for asking. Still, sometimes I had to clear my throat, and there's a little bit of cough here and there, but it is a lot better than how it was, like, two or three weeks ago. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I'm getting there. Definitely do appreciate it. Sounds good? Nice, nice. Hi, Joanna! How realistic are these bugs? I think they're pretty realistic kind of looking. Well, We'll see how it is, Joanna. And I, there is a fair warning. If you guys don't like bugs, you may not like this game, but we'll, we'll be there together. So, because that's going to make or break this for me, phobia wise. I totally understand, Joanna. Uh, so, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the stream of Earth Defense Force 5. We're going to be blowing up the living shit out of some bugs. Doesn't that sound some, yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. So, uh, I never played EDF games before, but uh, I was graciously given a review code from the developers, and I'm like, cool, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll play it. And I was like, you know what, this actually be really fun for a stream. Don't think I'm going to be playing the game fully, unless I really do enjoy it. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, we're just going to dive right into this. So I played, a, I am using the gamepad, thank you. So I do have uh, a save already. Uh, that I played a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and just delete it, uh, because I want to start fresh, so, uh, yeah, let's, let's fix my call sign a little bit here. I think I play like one or two levels, so that's it. So, uh, and like, if I had other people here to play with online, I would, I would do so, or even two-player split screen, but... I really don't, so it's okay. I'll do this offline. Uh, yeah. And there is a tutorial mission where you do offline. So, this is the game. Now, uh, let's take a look at my system settings really quick. Yep. Sure. Now, unfortunately, this game does not have subtitles. And that sucks. Because I want you guys to be able to hear the cheesy-ass dialogue. It's like, cheesy-ass dialogue. So, we'll see. Uh, screw this goodbye. I do not like bugs. I love you a lot, but even not even you are worth this, my dude. I totally understand, Joanna. Thank you for coming out regardless. Yeah, I, I, I worry that this game might be a little too bleh for a lot of people, but that's okay. Ah, uh, damn, there's a, a lot more settings here than I thought it was going to be, but okay, that's fine. So yeah, the game has four classes. Now, <clears throat> this is, uh, so yeah, what was going here? So there's the Ranger, which is like the Infantry Special Forces. Rangers are combat experts who can handle a wide range of, of weapons. They also are licensed to operate military vehicles on the battlefield. And they have little notes for each one. Like this one, the social class is the easiest to use and it has the highest combat strength. If you are playing the game for the first time, you should start out by choosing the soldier class, which is m what I'm going to be doing. And I like rangers. I, I like, you know, this infantry style group. But there are the other classes I do want to eventually try out, but I don't know when. So... Like, the Wing Diver is an all-female Special Forces unit equipped with jetpacks, as you guys can see there on the right. They carry safety are energy weapons instead of ballistic weapons to reduce weight, and they deal the most damage all classes. Now, they are something deadly, but they have very low HP or armor and defensive strength, and they make that makes them particularly susceptible to attacks. So you gotta be good to use them. Then you got the Air Raider, a tactical soldier that is equipped with a communication system. The mission on their air raider is to work with the Air Force and provide coordinates for airstrikes. 
The air raider annihilates the enemy by calling in bombers and gunships and designating attack targets. An air raider can even request vehicle drops. Now this sounds like an amazing group or amazing class. Although I'm not really sure how it's going to be benefit, well, beneficial offline. And it even says so right here. Oh wait, does it? Hmm. How do I scroll down? There we go. The soldier class is for intermediate players. It has the potential to deal a lot of damage, but it has to find itself in certain optimal situations to do so. Because the main purpose of a soldier class is to assist allies that is best suited for cooperative gameplay, you should probably select a soldier class after you gain a certain degree of familiarity with the game. So, there's that. And finally, the, the class I want to pick, but I'm afraid to pick, is the Fencer. A heavily armored soldier a power fully equipped with a powerful exoskeleton. Thanks to their power exoskeletons, this soldier class is capable of equipping enormous weapons. Also, the soldier class can carry separate weapons in both arms and wield both of them at the same damn time. However, it is for advanced players. Its controls are different from those other soldier classes, and playing this class well requires learning several... And playing this class well requires learning several new techniques. Mastery of this class will grant players terrifying power, but the path to mastery is very challenging. So, like I said, I really want to pick this class, but I just, I never played EDF before, so I feel like I need to play as a ranger for a little while. Uh, and then he has a loadout. So you have your first weapon, and he has a groups between uh, assault rifles, shotguns, sniper rifles, rocket launchers, missile launchers, grenades, and special. So right now we only have the PA-11, who's your typical assault rifle. And we also have the Grant M31, which is a rocket launcher. We do also have grenades, but I'd rather, I think I'd rather have the rocket launcher just in case. And they, they give you various things like the damage output, the reload times, the radius, all that thing, all that stuff. So it's good to take that into account. Um, and I believe they level up as you use it, from what I understand. So we'll see. And there's a, there's a butt ton of weapons here so we're gonna go ahead and keep it with the assault rifle and rocket launcher we do not have any type of support equipment but like uh as it says here support equipment tanks helicopters and uh bikes and whatever else we can call those in and we can use them but we just don't have them at the moment we can also just to call their blah so we're the ranger and mission number one today you're assigned to base 228 after arrival please follow the staff's instructions to confirm your duties the base will open up to the public this afternoon. EDF has been putting great efforts in building a better relationship with the neighborhood over the years. A large number of visitors are expected. Security and safety will be your primary concern. Now, here's the thing. We start off, I guess, as a regular civilian. We are not an EDF soldier yet. So, and we also have, like, various difficulty levels. Uh, see, I don't know. Is it oh, there is friendly fire damage. Of all of these, really. 50% normal damage. Ugh. Attacks don't knock your allies down. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, we'll do hard. Screw it. We'll do hard. So, yeah. Uh, you must be the newbie. Shall we start? Our job today is to direct traffic. You see, today is open house. And we're expecting a lot of visitors. It's going to be a busy day. You might be familiar with directing traffic. But there are tanks and powered exoskeletons in the base, so you gotta watch out. Now we're at the underground warehouse. This is the only place we can borrow. Let's start our basic training. Yeah, this game screams like PS2 cheesy stuff, but I love it. I love it even more because of that. Yeah, there's no nice. subtitles. I hope you guys can hear them. And I'm using a controller. It might be better if I actually use a uh, like mouse and keyboard, but I feel it might be easier to controller. Left trigger to jump. That's a weird ass thing. Okay. Let's get to work then. I'll show you the way. Follow me. Why am I sliding? What the hell's on my shoes? I'm sliding all around. Keep up. The bottom of the base is huge. It's easy to get lost. You know what else is huge? My gun. Yeah. I don't know what the hell are you guys talking about. Monsters! Run! Run! Don't 
Don't worry, it's fine. We mean he's we mean it's fine. He just screamed monsters, monsters run. What the hell's wrong with you? Huh? What happened? The lights will return to normal soon. Sure. Infernal difficulty is instant deaths and you and you have to grind like hell, like super crazy to get to that level. Wow. Yeah, screw all that. Opening the gate now. All right, let's open a gate. You don't need to tell me everything you're doing. This way. Watch out for incoming vehicles. I'm not stupid. Wait, look at that guy. Oh, I, those, those are probably defenses right there. He, he was eaten. George was eaten. <laughs> Soldiers love making jokes like these. That's a joke to you? He was eaten. So that for the tanks. Now, even yet, I understand that the game's not story heavy, but it's just hearing a dialogue and how cheesy it is is great. So, like, right that. I mean, right there. He was eaten. With the circuit, I <sighs> just switch on the light and it'll be fine. I'm mean, doesn't it raise alarms that we have the EDF people scrambling? Oh, speaking of alarms, yeah, is this, is this still okay, Bob? Am I doing okay? Is everything fine? Powered exoskeletons are coming. Watch out. Well, where the hell you go? I'm not even, I'm not even listening to you. Yeah, look at those. Oh my god, Metal Gear. That's so freaking awesome. Looks like it's designed for military vehicles. Now wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on a minute. How come these why do these robots have boners? They have they have robot boners. What the hell's wrong with this game? There's no need for that. There's There is no viable reason that part exists on the exoskeleton. Did I miss something there? Whatever. Ugh. No need to be nervous. Behind this gate is Is what? Uh, oh my god, the big ass ant! No! There's a there's a bunch! I have no weapons! Bob, no! It's too, it's too huge, huh? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh look, health. Uh, let's see if they dropped anything. Nope. Yes. So yeah, those are the very first enemies you see. You see how kind of realistic they look, kinda. So that's why I was a little unsure if you guys would be okay with this. We don't know what they are and how many there are, and we don't know how they infiltrated us. We can't make contact with the ground. We are isolated. Before the reinforcements arrive, we are on our own. That is why I'm arming you. Nice. As soldiers, and it's our duty to protect civilians. Although I would like to guarantee your safety, I can't make that promise as long as the identity of the enemy is unknown. AKA, your you're screwed, and you're on your own. If you're in danger. What is this? Honey, I shrunk the world, except the bugs. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So, here are our weapons, and this is how we play. We use our right trigger to shoot. And I want to say we have unlimited bullets. We just got to reload them after a little while. There you go. Nice. How do I reload? There you go. X. And right bumper to switch. And here's our rocket launcher. And uh, we just got to destroy all the targets now. You got talent. Damn right I do. Move left and right and press the left trigger at the same time to perform emergency avoidance. AKA a dodge roll. Oh, and I can dash? Oh, I gotta hold it. Hey, that's pretty cool. Now, 
it's kind of an awkward stop, but there you go. So now we know how to play the game. I can unlock the blast doors and then everyone can escape. They must have had fun recording this game. They had that been. This is great. I love they just gave me a gun too. And a rocket launcher, by the way. They're like, yeah, hey, we need help. Here. Take these really dangerous weapons. Hey, civilian. We might be running into some monsters. Take care of yourself, got it? I mean, you gave me a gun for a reason, so yeah. Yay! Level 1 complete. Nice. I got no items! <laughs> That's okay. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we don't have anything to really change. Unless we want to go to the other... Other... Ah, uh, that was going to say the classes, but frankly, I'm just afraid of using them because I don't, I've never played DF before. Uh, wow. Look at all this stuff. But yeah, let's go ahead and start mission two, Escape from Darkness. The monsters came from nowhere. We don't know if there are any more of them looking in the dark. And to make it worse, we can't make contact with the ground. We're stranded at the bottom of the base. But we can't sit, or, sit around waiting. We must find the rest of our comrades and escape. I will protect you. Civilian, but I don't know what will happen. If you're in bad luck, we're gonna have to fight monsters. Get prepared for battle. All right. Monster get ready for the harder. Get ready. The harder difficulty, the more bullet sponges bugs get. Uh, that combined with the farther into the game, you get harder. They are no, they are they are to kill. Yay! This is, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Don't say that. You're scaring him. Yeah, who says that? I mean, if you don't fight, you'll become their food. Screw you, dude. Like this? Yeah, that's not, that's not hard. God, this dialogue is amazing. We haven't even got into like the meat of it yet. We haven't even. We have. We ourselves have yet to kill enemies. Although we see on the top right there, that, that is our radar. If we see any red, then those are enemies. Like right there! We got enemies! Yay! I killed one! Now a billion more to go. I probably shouldn't be just running into danger like this, but... Oh my god. I think I'll be okay. If you guys see, like, any boxes I need to pick up, let me know. Like, see, those are the green uh, armor. Or, no, excuse me. Those are the green weapon boxes. So I pick those up. I get a new weapon at the end of this uh, level. Any red. And uh, the red ones are armor. Those increase our health. These boxes, they're just health for the time being. Oh, see? There's armor. There you go. This route doesn't work. Let's head back. Sounds like Aaron Yeager. Ah, <laughs> uh, yay! Bullet sponges. Now, time to end those. Time to end these bugs' whole world. Yeah. Air Defense Force 2017 was my fa my first. Ah, uh, those were the days. It doesn't it doesn't it did not have auto save? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I, I don't know how many Earth Defense Force games there are. I mean, I know, I know this one's called Five, but they're, they're like named differently. Like you said, 2017 and like 4.1 and 2025. Ew. So I have no idea like how it all kind of aligns or how many there are in the series, but or I don't even know like is this is this a sequel? Is this like a reboot? A remake? I don't know. Let's go for help. I'm killing things, man. Give me, give me a second. Damn right, I'm good. Look at, look at me, killing all these bugs. I know. Thank you.
I will I will admit them looking the way that they do makes me a little uneasy myself. It's like yeah. Oh. Okay, hold on, hold on. There, there's a couple down here. Let me save these guys. <laughs> like, it makes me wonder. They, they had to purposely act that bad. Yeah, they, they had to. There's no, I, there, I refuse to believe that they were really trying when it came to voice acting. Um. No, it's not mission clear. What the hell are you talking? We still got a lot more to do. How? There's not more boxes. Okay. All right. So one armor equals one health after a mission. So you can see how it can get pretty grindy. Wow, just one? I thought it was gonna be like at least like five or something. All right, Queen fan, thank you so much for coming out. I hope you enjoy your nap. Oh, I'm, I'm slowly loading. Ew. I, I, I don't I don't mind the ants so much, but like still the way that they move. Like I feel if they get too close to me, I might be a little iffy about it, but uh, I'm trying to keep my distance. I'm not even paying attention to how much ammo I have or like you know, how many times I got to reload. I, I just shoot and then I gotta reload. I'm gonna reload, um, but it seems like I'm I'm okay for the time being. Man, this this is this is fun, and I, I'm only this is like what the second level. Damn. I wonder if there's, any, if there's any way we could have saved those exoskeletons. Something tells me we probably couldn't. So we can't do anything about that? I guess not. No, no, no. Your acting's too good. Do it worse, okay? Action! <laughs> where are monsters where? Oh, right here. You, did you say you don't have bullets? Are you kidding me? It's like the worst time. That, uh, they're right next. Yeah, I don't like it when they're too damn close to me. <laughs> I, I don't mind if they're kind of far away, but something about them being too close makes me a little blah. I will say this game runs very nicely. I was I was actually expecting like dips in frame or anything like that, but uh. No, this it's running perfect. Now I don't know how the PS4 version runs. Like I don't know if it has a 30 frames per second cap or 60. I don't know. Ooh, another weapon. The escape from a zoo or something. Uh, welcome back, poor girl. Jumping in chat only on the app so I can drop the beep boops. Thank you, Joanna. <laughs> you have a great night. Being a soldier is awesome. You can get a pension. That's what the drill sergeant said too. We're really gonna talk about pensions at a time like this. Really, Captain Obvious? There's a hole in the ceiling. I miss that. You know what else is happening? Giant effing ants are trying to kill us. I mean... Right, why are you... This is not the time to be worrying about insomnia. The world is basically ending because of giant monsters. And you're talking about insomnia, you're talking about pension. Yeah, that's, that's just great. Get out of these. Get these things out of the way really quick to see if I missed anything. No, I think we're good. This way. Bullets can never hit me. <clears throat> uh, I'm on the PC actually. I'm, I'm. I can. I'm sure I can move a lot. You know what? Hold on, really quick. The hell did I just do. 
What the hell? I can sing? Oh, we are the valiant infantry. We are the alpha team with passion and camera. Oh my god, this game just got 20 times better. No, how do I? No, game. I want to get down to settings. <laughs> there. I want to say, that if, is there a way I can increase the sensitivity on the road, like the, the camera? No, not there. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll do it later. I didn't know I can sing. There's emotes. Oh my god. Yes, it's too dangerous. You still want to fight. I want to sing some more. Shut up, I'm singing. It's only with I'm the slash door now. Mankind can still exist down here in paradise. I'm to sure there are tons of monsters on the other Mother side of the door. Earth, we're ready, ready to give up I'm our lives. lives. High up in the air, our comrades huh? fight. I can't believe Dashing this. through the sky now like Scare. a million bolts of light. Oh, good we grief. shall spread our wings wide Let's and fly move on. high. Soaring, gliding through the endless sky. Now pick up our weapons, off we go. Firing at the flying saucer, shooting down our foe. We shall not allow these aliens to rule we homo sapiens. I love this game now. Even more. Look at all these yells I got. Why? Please come in. Requesting surface sit rep. Now, imagine having three other friends singing different verses. That's very true. Oh, man. This is great. Why is this game not game of the year already? No matter what happens, their situation can't be worse than ours. Stay calm. Yes. Okay. The rescue team must be waiting on the surface. There's a man, there's a whole list. Once we get out from here. That's why we're in trouble. I I can't believe all this. Okay. Maybe the monsters are biological weapons created by another nation. Why did you That's miss? ridiculous. No. Oh my god, they're BOWs. Resident Evil. I imagine the other classes got different songs. I would imagine so, yeah. Oh, that's right. Well, okay, yeah. When the PS4 version came out in Japan 2017, I believe it came out on the PS4 last year. And I believe we just got... And then the PC version came out like a week or two ago. So. And there's a... I think one came out not too long ago called Iron Rain. Which is a little bit different. It was actually a little bit more serious, I thought. Um, I don't know. I'm going to the surface. He sounded like he wanted to laugh when he said that line. We have to exterminate the monsters. All right, Let, let's try the rocket launcher a little bit. I feel like it kind of slow, and it's only two of it or two uh, two shots before we got reload. But we'll see. Wow, I missed. Oh my lord! Okay. Yeah, no, nah, I think I... Ah, it's right next to me! <laughs> yeah, I think I like the, uh... I think I like the assault rifle a little bit more. Oh, God. How were you just standing there? How did I miss it? And did the other one just... Where the hell did the other one go? Oh. You know, I'm just gonna let them do a lot of the work. It's it's fine. I'm still I'm still kind of weak. I gotta get better weapons and all that. I will admit I do love the the range on these weapons. I was not expecting it to reach so many or that far. Well, here's the last one. 
There we go. We'll be fine once we get back to the surface. That's just a bunch of health. A weapon. I think it's another weapon over there. I would like more armor, but I am blind and don't see anymore. It's also kind of dark here, and I think the majority of the levels are outside anyway, so we're not going to be in like these corridors for too long. Oh, nice! I think that's the end of the world, the end of the level. Iron Rain is more story focused, but with the same kind of acting, except they try to be serious, like over serious. I remember correctly. Oh, wow! Okay. You'll like explosives when you start getting huge blast radiuses. That, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I, I'm expecting more out of the rocket launcher, but I think for since we're so early in the game, hey, the assault rifle kind of does what I need to do. Um, although we'll see what other weapons we just got. So mission cleared. Nice. So what do we got? Oh, hello, uh, Mr. Toxic 2 b Thank you so much for the follow. Definitely do appreciate it. Uh, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the community. And I hope you enjoy your time here. <clears throat> so, what do I get? Well, I got more armor for the Wing Diver than I did for the Ranger. That's that's great. Although, I got a lot of weapons for Ranger, like shotguns, assault rifles, rocket launch assault. Wow. Hey, that's pretty cool. And the up is basically the upgrade to whatever weapon we already had. Pro tip, green dots on the map equal items like health weapons and armor, I believe. Ooh, so that makes things a lot easier. Thanks, uh, Justin. Oh, it also tells us a little bit more about it. Um, you know, I feel like this will be a lot. I'm, just, I'm gonna go ahead and skip all of these. Thank you so much. Glad to be here. Awesome content. Well, no, no problem at all, Mr. Toxta. Thank you for coming out. So yeah, uh, as the title states, I'm just playing some EDF. Very first time I'm doing so. Uh, okay, so let's see if these uh, things are any better. Now, I don't know if there's an easy way to compare um, assault rifles or weapons, but I'm just going to keep going back and forth. Like, this has a higher damage output. The reload is um, two seconds longer, and the range is actually shorter. And the shot speed's actually lower. Ha. Huh. And this one... Actually... It just seems to be an upgraded version of... Well, it is an upgraded version of PA-11. So... And it's already level 5. So is that level 5 out of 5? Like, you see, it, has, it says level. And then next to it says a star. I'm assuming that's, like, the highest level it goes to. So, I don't know. I don't want to try out just the upgrade version of PA-11. I only got I got only plus one armor. Wow, wow. That makes it extra. It used to be combined. Oh, that sucks. You should try Kenshi. What's Kenshi, Mr. Toxic? Now, in terms of... So, we got a bunch of rocket launchers. Now, wow, the radius and holy crap. Look at that one. Look at the radius and the damage I put on this one. Now, the reload time is a little bit higher, but the damage alone blows it out of thing. Yeah, let's do the Goliath. Holy crap, that thing is. Yeah, that's cool. I don't have any sport items still. What other items did I get? A grenade and Impulse Y8? The landmine. That might be decent. I'm tempted about the shotgun, though, too, but... Nah. Alright. I think we're good with the Goliath and the PA-11 SLS. And, uh... Let's try this. It says that one has a zoom as well. Oh, wait. The... The, the PA-11 SLS? Did I miss that? It does have a zoom. Nice. Two, two times. And a laser sight. Hey. I got lucky. So now we're in Crisis in Base 228, Part 1. <laughs> we did a civilian. We'll be safe once we get back to the ground. We have to meet up with the troops to solve this, so it's time to say goodbye. That's what I hope to say, but don't worry. I'll send you home safely. Yeah, something tells me that's not going to happen. 
Wait, does the guy have one shot though? Because it said no rate of fire. Ah, oh, crap! You're right, Justin. Well, let's see how awesome this thing is. Yeah, it's it's literally only one shot. I keep shooting my friends on accident. He tried. Dear Lord, he tried of that acting. Yeah, okay, hold on. I, I need to get... Hold on. This definitely does hit a lot harder, th this assault rifle, so... That I like. Who is our superior officer? They killed my comrade! Time for revenge! No, you don't get to say time for revenge like that. They killed my comrade! Time for revenge! No. That's not, that's not how you do it. Oh, what the fudge did I just click? Oh, I was trying to zoom in. There you go. Of course it can. That's too convenient if it can get activated. Yeah, I know they're like all from the other side as well, but I'm, I'm trying to handle this one at a time here. <laughs> it's acid, guys. Oh, perfect then. It's highly convenient. I don't think it helped that guy though. He seemed like he was in a lot of pain. This is Yoda 3. Commencing initiation procedure. Over here. Over here. Infantry. Protect the exoskeleton. I'm trying. I'm trying there. Uh oh. Ah, oh, it hurt me. Glad to know you are fine. Give me a Hold on. Before I protect things, I want to the lieutenant was killed in action. Grab some stuff. Oh no, eaten by a monster. Son of a bitch. It's okay. It's okay. Well, we got this. Well, it seems like they're handling things pretty nicely on by themselves. And I, I still get upgrades regardless. So that's that's kind of cool. But it's not fun if I don't participate. So. Okay, I think we're all good. We got all the boxes, and I know there's health if we need it. Yeah, I can't even imagine this game didn't have the sprinting. That would, that would suck. All right. Yeah, I, I want. I actually, I want them to get a little closer. Oh my God! Did it really go through them? Like it like wet bull like through their legs. I think I found like a bottleneck. Nope, nope, they're still getting through. Never mind. They should be all evacuated by now, but we can't be sure of that. We can't reach the corporal in charge of the escort. Oh my god. I, I, do, I don't know what's happening. I'm just I'm literally running through and trying to mow them down. And I'm I'm actually getting hurt quite a bit. I gotta Oh, nope, nope, run, run, I died. I died. <laughs> and that's what happens when I don't run away. Whoops. Damn, I would have thought I got like a resuscitation or something like that, but no, it's like you die, you die. All right. So yeah, thank God they have sprinting. A jog was the movement speed in 2017 in Insect Armageddon. Wow. Oh, that sucks. It only gives ha oh, looks like it gives half of the weapons if we die. Well, at least they give us something. Okay. Well, let's do that again, guys. I learned my lesson. Don't get overwhelmed. If I need to back up, I need to back up. How does that one thing... 
I probably should have used a rocket launcher, but I'm going to assume that there is, uh, there's damage as well. If, say I use a rocket launcher, like, right next to a, a, a bug. Like, and it hit me. I'm, I would assume it would hurt me, yeah? Damn it, damn it, damn it. Awesome. That's him saying that. That's great. Okay, help, help, and there's a weapon over there. Cool thing is in co-op you can revive friends using a bit of your health. Oh. See, this game really is designed for co-op, but it seems like you, it can be done, you know, uh, solo as well. So I, that I like. Because not everybody has friends, but that's okay. I think I killed my friend on accident. Don't be afraid. Our combat suits are acid resistant. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Help! Ah! Well, he's not alive, apparently. Uh, I gotta be careful, I'm not getting hurt too. Infantry, protect the powered exoskeleton. Oh, holy crap. Ow, you bastard. It's okay if you don't have friends, Pharaoh. You have us. Well, thank you, Derpy. I have, like, the thing is, is like, I, ha I have my group of friends, but none of them are really into games. So it's like, oh, well, all right. Which is, it's fine, you know, but they're more so into like, oh, going out, partying, whatever. Which is, nothing's wrong with it, but it's just, uh, I myself don't really do that too often, and they don't play games. And that's okay. Alright. No, no, we're gonna be fine, we're not gonna die. Although I will say they're getting fairly close. Keep the monsters away from the powered exoskeletons. Holy crap! See, that's cool. Ow, oh, that's not so cool. I knew it. I knew there's a damn blast radius like that. That would that would hurt me too. <laughs> I just gotta find some health. I found health. Not a lot of health. All right, no, okay. Oh no! Really, two two in a row? Now, to, to be fair, to be fair, that that bastard went right in front of the. Uh, he went right in front of the uh, the rocket launcher. I'm starting to think I shouldn't use rocket launchers. You know what? Hmm, I probably should have... Nah, that's fine. I think next time... If this happens again, I'm going to see if I can... Um, I'm going to try a shotgun. Because, I mean, you would imagine it would, it would hold a lot of firing power. And... Uh, if I get close enough, I can blow him away. I probably, I should probably play on normal as well, poor girl. But I, I'm stubborn. I, I, I want, I want to say I'll, I'll be able to handle this on hard. But if this happens again, then yeah, I might, have, I might do this. I don't think he can use the tanks at this point. He's still a civilian. Yeah, like, I, it's said that the Ranger can use tanks and weapons or, like, vehicles, but I don't think we can do so just yet. Yeah, see, I, I, I'm too scared to use it now. Don't be afraid. 
Our combat suits are acid resistant. Oh no. And it also makes me wonder what this big name uh, voice actors were involved in recording for this. Switch over. There we go. So it doesn't look like you can switch over weapons as you're sprinting, but you can reload while you're sprinting. That's kind of cool. Yes, that's right. Never underestimate my stubbornness. <laughs> or as I like to call it, determination. Oh, wait, what was that? You just saw me blow away a friendly? Oh, oops. All units, get in position. Uh, he died for a greater cause, Justin. We'll just go with that. Shoot them. Don't let the monsters get any closer. See, I like the destructive power of it, but... Then they get too close, and I get scared. Keep the monsters away from the powered exoskeletons. Too many enemies. Evacuate the civilians. They should be all evacuated by now, but we can't be sure of that. We can't reach the corporal in charge of the escort. There's so many. Ah, oh, well. I'll let him climb the building. I don't care. What? The most disgusting combo. Is this true? What if we're wrong? What the hell's that? This is a special news flash. There have been accounts of UFO sightings everywhere across the globe. Uh, it's possible that I have some and friendly people time, right there who, but, uh, they're in my way. Air. I'm trying to clear out the horde a little bit. Objects made of metal. For now, the identity of these objects remains unclear. Since there are reports of sightings coming from everywhere, it is speculated that there are multiple UFOs flying in different areas. Did she just make fun of, like, people who believe in UFOs? Like, oh, well, these, unlike the others one, where it's just, like, a floating couple of lights, there's real sightings. It's like, oh, ouch. <laughs> okay, me, I'm going to pick up all this stuff. Because I, I don't know, like, if I kill that one thing and the mission ends or what. So I'm sure if I miss it, like, uh, it's not going to count. I, I need to pick up these items or else uh, they won't count. All right. Oh, wait. No, there's more armor. How come none of the other guys are shooting? There's a big-ass ant following me out of all people. And, uh, you know what? No, fine. Fine. That's okay. It's giving me time to pick up armor. Screw all you guys. I'm just, uh... I'm just doing my thing. And I think Oh my god, there's a there's a weapon all the way back there. I'm 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 picking it up. See Blum voice the player in Insect Armor get in? Oh but he didn't talk much though? That's awesome though. Wow, nobody else could have done that, yeah? Welcome back, Super Twin. And what's up, Mendez? Welcome to the stream again, buddy. How are you doing? Iota One is activated. Powered exoskeleton team, engage. Aw. Aw, yeah. There you go. Where the hell? That yes. 
Yes! This is Yoda 2, ready to fight some monsters. Hell yeah! Okay. This is great! <laughs> Sucks you guys weren't here before. Wow! I'm like... This is great. I, I'm like losing my train of thought about how the sheer awesomeness of all this is, is happening right now. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna pick up all this stuff if I can. Because now I have a feeling the mission's gonna end. All exterminated. It's finally over. Oh my god, wait. No, game. No, hold on. There's a lot of things I need to pick up. Oh, I picked up the little weapon at the last second. Nice. The mission will end before you grab everything, so best to leave a few alive before you finish. Gotcha. Okay. You didn't miss much. I died a couple times, but then I'm okay again. Um, and hello, Ichigo. Welcome to the stream. No need to apologize for being late whatsoever. We're just enjoying our time here. All right. Holy crap. We got a lot of things. I don't even know what the hell I grabbed, so. We did grab a lot of, uh. Whew! A lot of health, so that's pretty nice. Well, now, now our health is at 211 compared to the 200 we had. So. There's not much to miss in terms of viewing these games. Yeah! It's just you're killing bugs left and right over and over and over and over and over and over again. So, uh. So the slugger is new. The range is a little bit lower, but the damage and the capacity is higher. Reload time is shorter. Accuracy is not that good. I still don't want to try it, though. And instead of the rocket launcher, I'm really thinking about the shotgun. What else have we got? We got a missile launcher. What the hell's the difference between that and these and a... Ah, whatever. My grenade launcher. Holy crap, what the hell? What the hell is this? It fires high-speed compressed plasma bullets. It bounces off walls and continues to fly until they reach the range limit. What? I mean, the damage is a little blah, but... Interesting, nonetheless. What else have we got? Impulse on that... Oh, pfft, what the hell is this? A spray can. What the hell? Uh, it fixes damaged armor. Gotcha. And a reversal. Sprays nano machines. So the one's got to fix his armor. So I don't know. The Mini Buster... I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think about that and the slugger. The damage is higher. Oh, you know, we'll, we'll try it. We'll try a mini, but... Ooh. No, no, no. Hold on a minute. I, I understand. I can't... Hold on. Yeah, so we'll do the, we'll do the minion buster. And I do want to try out the shotgun. Just for the hell of it. And then uh, we don't have we don't have anything. So no, we do have a support a bike. Uh, it has light machine guns too. Why the hell not? All right, I think we're kind of good to go. And blue cow, welcome to the stream. The mini buster looks like it's a, like it looks like a lot of fun for a gun. Yeah, that's what we're gonna try that out. Uh, all right. So this is Crisis in Base Two Twenty Eight Part Two. The base is under attack by unknown hostiles and has turned into a battlefield. There is no guarantee for your safety, even if you try to hide. Now grab your gun and fight. You have what it takes to be a soldier. Eh? Huh? What's that? Well, that's, that's not good when you have to say, what the hell's that? <laughs> yeah, it seems like the, yeah, the fencer only has Gatling weapons. Look at the sky! Something is falling! Retreat! Oh, Fall God! Ah! I gotta blow that up, don't I? Uh Oh, it teleports enemies too. The 
there you go. Hmm. Okay, Minion Buster, it's strong. Well, is it stronger than the one I had before? That I can't tell. Now, I do see the other pylon. I'm just grabbing the armor and whatnot that I can. And I think I... No, there's armor right here. I see a bunch of red on the on the screen, like on this top, and that worries me. On the UFOs. A monster has appeared in the same area where a UFO was previously sighted. It is said to be ten meters long, extremely aggressive, and will most likely attack humans. Stay tuned for more updates. Oh my god, my range is terrible on this gun though. Yeah, but then these things, though. Oh, God. Well, I definitely like the shotgun in terms of a little bit of, like, crowd control. In a sense. Wow, but the the reload is, is god-awful. I am surprised with the range, though. This is my main priority. I'll get rid of this pylon. There you go. Nice. Okay. Another one? Where? Okay. My god. I didn't know what the hell was happening there for a second. If the pylon falls into the city, it will cause heavy casualties. Not only casualties, the whole city will be gone. What is going on? What in the world are we fighting against? What am I fighting for? Does that mean we're at war with some country? Uh oh. This is the world at war. Once again, you gotta love the acting. Damn! I was about to travel abroad next week. Just my luck. Well, my friend in Europe just told me that Marseille is being attacked by thousands of monsters. Are you saying that we're not the only ones being attacked? Okay, you guys handle all that. There's weapons and crap I need to pick up. Osaka? Alright, hold on a minute. I'm surprised. I wish the shotgun did more damage to the pylon, but... There you go. <clears throat> Take down all of the monsters. Spare no one. All right, but hold on before we do that. Let's see what other items I can grab. <clears throat> this is a special Iris. Iris. Multiple sightings of monsters in different areas. Iris, no. Oh, why is this happening to me? Extreme caution in case you witness that whole game do not was to approach and something to in the, the voice acting. Immediately. All right, we're good. I like the little new slash stuff we got too. What? Oh no! You're kidding me, right? <laughs> no. That is a big no-no. That is that that's a that's a nay nay. Got more eight armor and three stuff for the stuff. A, a, a new grenade launcher. We already got a PA eleven, although it's an upgrade to PA eleven. Uh okay. Yeah, I'm the I am iffy about the um I am very iffy about the uh the minion buster. I felt like it wasn't as great as I would like it to be. Although the slugger... Hmm. 
We'll try a slugger for right now. Shotgun. I mean, I still don't know about a shotgun. I mean, I liked it, but it was it really did have a, a long reload. Uh. Detonation time is four seconds. Shot speed is seventy nine milliseconds, I guess. Reload is three. Hmm. We'll try it out. Why not? And the bike, yeah, still... Okay, let's try this. I miss anything. <laughs> All right, Shattered Peace. Head out to the city ahead. We should be able to get some rest once we get there. The reinforcement troops should arrive soon and take care of the situation. You'll be home soon. Don't worry. Highly doubt that because I know that this game has 100 plus missions, so... We barely even scratched the surface of this just yet. <clears throat> I think after this mission, we'll go ahead and take a a little break. Ah, oh, we actually got civilians. The war has begun. Don't forget to get your Kaiser foot. Yeah, we got, we gotta join the fight. Wait, hold on. Where the hell are these ants? Can I blow this up? My grenades look weird. Uh, hold yeah. Let's. I'm, I'm afraid to get toward the green thing of death. It does make you wonder, do you think, uh, like, ever, like, there will be a man-made thing like this, like, people will be crazy enough to do this for real? I would hope not, but I wouldn't be surprised. Oh my god, look at all those pylons. That actually had decent range. Accuracy is terrible, but much stronger than you can imagine. The whole world is being attacked right now. We already have our hands full with managing the situation. You know, it, it, this is kind of like if XCOM was corny as all hell. All right. Really? Here is a follow-up report on the flying objects. They seem to be dropping monsters in various different places. The flying objects are extremely dangerous. Okay. So we urge you to this, keep it, it's bouncing off, to isn't it? It's not, it's not a moment of impact. Holy crap, the accuracy is terrible. Who the hell is doing... Oh, it's the tanks. I like, guys, I'm right here. I don't need to be that close to some freaking... Uh, missiles, but all right. As long as it's not hurting me, then I'm fine with it. And I really hope nobody is in these buildings because uh, they're they're coming down. All right, I gotta focus on killing this thing. Okay, I I don't think I I picked the right loadout. These these guns are stupidly inaccurate. Oh, this isn't good. Oh no. So okay, here's the thing. I can probably do this, but this is going to take a while. I 
the problem is I'm, I'm getting hit because I, I need to be this close to hit him. This accuracy is terrible. Well, the thing is we're learning. I, I know nothing about EDF, so this is a hell of a way to learn. Hi, Ant. It's almost destroyed. I can see that. Like... Come on, it's almost gone. Who's that do this a couple more times? There we go. The tanks will support the infantry. You, you would think the tanks would shoot up at the pylon, you know? Not have one guy do it. The rocket launchers would be pretty much perfect for them. But see, here's the thing. Like, I does anybody know if I get more weapon slots for a ranger later on, or is it only two weapons? Because that definitely makes things like ow, like hard. But um, I I have to make do. Yeah, I do have to make do what I got though. I mean, I could retreat. Yeah, but. Yeah, I'm stubborn. I mean, it's interesting. I was like, it's all destructible, I guess. Oh, all right. We're going to be here for another five minutes. I mean, it almost seems kind of like cartoonishly bad how the accuracy is. Oh, holy crap, what the hell just happened? <laughs> uh, well... <laughs> now all classes only get two primary weapons. That's how the games have been for a long time. Okay. Yeah, no, this bullet spray is something else like holy crap like how okay I have 142 bullets I have 142 like what maybe not if I'm lucky maybe 10 are hitting the pylon no yeah if, if I was at a lower difficulty everything will be and obviously uh, go down easier. They won't be bullet sponges. I just I picked a really bad lo loadout, and yeah, I could re really restart and do any just do again later. But um, I am happy that it is that it is infinite bullets because if, if this game incorporated like a bullet count, then that would have been something. Oh, you counted. So 17 bullets hit. I have 142. 17 hits. Wow. It's almost dead, though. <laughs> oh, my God. So what weapon is this? The slugger? Remind me not to get the slugger again. Unless I need to be in, like, in a very enclosed space. As I mentioned, like, the tunnels. So that would be perfect. Here, there, my lord, that's... Good. Keep it up. I don't really want to keep it up. That took forever. Destroy the pylons. Attack the top part. No shit, Captain Obvious. I, I gotta attack the top part? Like I've been doing for the past ten minutes? Thank you. Thank you. Based on the falling trajectories of the pylons, we've determined the location of the gigantic ship. So that's the ship that deploys those pylons. It's flying above the combat area now. It may deploy pylons. Please be on high alert to the sky. Please don't drop more pylons. We we are not in need of additional pylons. Please. The pylons are crashing down. No, pylons, stop. Let's go. Prepare to Kiss my fat butt. Really? Uh 
I wish these were impact grenades, I really do. Even if they weren't, look at the accuracy on them. If I'm far enough, maybe I can uh, make this useful. Is there one next to me? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, why do, why do I always pick the harder difficulties? Because that's fun. In my opinion, that's fun. Because if I pick an, a two... If I pick normal, there's always a chance it's going to be way too easy. And easy is just... Well, easy. So... I usually pick hard because I know for a fact it might give me a challenge, at least. And uh, that's why I like doing it. You must construct additional pylons. No, I don't. Help us, monsters! There are monsters outside my home. Well, that's too bad, dude. You got either you stay in your house or I don't run. It's hopeless. They took us all out. Oh, don't even put a dent into this thing. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, Justin, take your time. Do I ever play on easy? Not really. No. There are times I'll play on normal. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't think... Ever since I was a child, no, I don't think I played a game on easy. Uh, now, I think the, the last game I actually played on normal was Days Gone. And I'm glad I did so, because for a while, that game was difficult, especially in... No, it's not, not difficult in a sense, but difficult um, when dealing with the hordes in that game. That's when it, it, it became difficult even on normal. And it wasn't until later in the game that I felt like I was okay. And I'm talking about, like, end game. So, that is one of the games I'm glad I kept on normal. And also, if, if a game tells me that I can switch over to normal or a lower difficulty later on after picking a harder one, I'm fine with picking hard. But there are games, like I believe like Days Gone, that you had to pick a difficulty and it stayed like that. Um... And that's why I was very hesitant about picking hard on that game, so I, I just stuck with normal. I'm glad I did. The game was fun. I, I, I 100% in Days Gone. I, the game got a lot of flack, and I can understand why it did. I just feel like it came out in the wrong time for for the PlayStation 4. It, it should have came out. A game like that should have come out like two or three years ago. Oh my god, I'm, I want to focus on the pylons, but these damn things, I got a, all my friends around me, and they, it's like, what are you guys doing? Alright, crap. Sorry, I, I know I, I am not really seeing chat right now, I do apologize, guys, I'm trying to get like a roll in the action here. So I can catch up with chat here. Like an intro to a new game or series? Not even. Like, it just... Sometimes I just... just always usually go on hard. I don't think running will help. You see how, those, how fast those ants move? <laughs> yeah, well, it, well, man, almost really fast. I don't know. Parallel to the man. Then grab a gun or something, buddy. You, you see me doing something. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought the green were my allies. I keep forgetting those are just health and whatnot. Oh yeah, I'm alone. No wonder nobody's helping me. That's great. This is the strategic intelligence division. The gigantic ship is descending. It might be heading to the combat area. What did you say? 
The estimated time of arrival is... Wait, it can't be. It's already near ground level. Ugh. All right. I took care of that nonsense. Oh, but there's a lot of things I need to pick up. No, can we stop with the damn pylons? And you, you, what the hell, man? So far, the identity of the flying objects remains unclear as governments worldwide deny involvement. And it hasn't been confirmed whether right. other organizations are involved. Although the government promised to clarify the situation, the current state is in chaos for authorities in question, so the situation remains obscure. Yeah, I really don't need the allies at this point. Although I could, this game would be a lot, lot of fun with, uh, with co-op friends for sure. I need information. What are we fighting against? Hostile forces. What exactly does hostile forces mean? Huh, Sergeant? This is not good. What's not good? as large as the city what are you talking about it's oh so my easy. god could it be aliens what, what do you think that is if it's not aliens do i do i gotta kill that thing later on Hello? my brother said he saw a monster it's the size of an elephant huh no why why don't you believe me who is not believing you at, at this moment we know that the things are attacking the world. Time to wake up. This is such a wild dream. There are no such things as monsters. Oh no, there, there are, buddy. Oh, this, now there is. Yeah, I know. This, this, it's very frustrating using this weapon, but I mean, I'm too far into the, in the mission to switch out something else, so I'm going to be stubborn. Although, if I keep going the way I am, I'm going to die. This will all be for nothing. Oh my god. No, 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 no. No, jump. Jump. Well done, civilian. What do you mean, well done? What the hell did I do? Did I miss something? Oh, I requested a bike. Okay, well, ho oh boy. Yeah, In case of emergency, civilians are allowed to board. Okay, you know what? Hold on. I need to get the fudge out of here. I'm going to die. I need one of you guys to drop health. Like, right now. Anytime. No, please, game. Don't. Don't. Please, don't. Please. No, game. Don't do that to me. Don't do it to me, game. I love I, I left my bike, too, but... Oh, my God. This is so not good. Uh, I learned a very important lesson when it comes to EDF. Pick, pick your guns stupidly wisely. Okay, that's a, a little bit of breathing room. Man, I'm sorry, guys. I know this is, like, frustrating because it's, like, like, damn. I, I should have been done a lot earlier with this mission, but, uh, it's okay. It's a learning experiment. Yeah, if these things despawned, that would have been terrible. Didn't mean I wanted to roll, but okay. 
Oh my god! I, can't, I couldn't even kill an ant that's right in front of me. That's how. Oof. Come on. Oh my god, no, you don't. Please give me some breathing room. Please. I wish my allies just stood, like, stood with me. They're like, hey, civilian. Uh, we're gonna go on ahead. You take care of this pylon. Yeah, sure, no thing, boss. So not going well at all. I'm trying to clear it away a little bit. Now, how do I get on the bike by chance? I, I don't even know if I can how to do that. I didn't see a button prompt. Uh, it's it's not stopping. No. How? Oh my God. Get get on. Yep. I can. I don't. I pushed every button on the controller. It would not let me on that bike. Did I order another bike? I sure did. So right now, I'm praying to God if I just keep running to the left and I keep shooting this, that I will not get hurt, and this thing will blow up, and then I get no more ants, and then I can continue moving forward. Let's see if my plan works. Well, I I don't know. I it, I'm getting close. I'm getting scared. I'm getting close. Like, you know what they had that saying? Like, spray and pray. This is legit spray and pray. I'm praying that I don't die. Oh, thank the Lord. Wow. Please get out of here. How many of these ants were there still? Oh my god. Oh my god. Where were you, buttholes? I was waiting for you this entire time. Is it just one more pylon? All right, I swear if I lose right here, I'm gonna get mad. Might as well grab all my hard earned awards, I guess. I I would like to get on this bike. All right. So I don't want to request another b That's three bikes I got now. It's not that. It's not why. Okay, I blew up my bike. That's jump. How do I get? No, emo. 
Oh my god. That's how I feel. Ah! Guys, I don't know how to get on the thing. <laughs> I, I really don't. Okay, settings. Uh, controls, ranger. B. I was pushing B. Oh, okay. I swear I was pushing B. Oh, there's gas in this thing, too? Oh my god in heaven. Guys, help me. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I don't... Okay. <laughs> Nobody saw that. Oh my god. Nope. Yep. I... Yeah, oh, I can't control that damn... You know what? Fine. Okay. We'll do it this way. <clears throat> All right. Here we go again. Oh, wait a minute. That one's really high up. Oh, this is going to suck. If there's a way I could, like, you know, easily maneuver my bike, like, if I point the guns up there, that'd be great. <laughs> I hate, I hate everything right now. Why did I pick this stupid-ass gun? If I had a rocket launcher, this would have been done, like, 20 minutes ago. I love how they're not even summoning right now. But we're gonna take a break after this mission. Nope, can't let you do that, Pharaoh. Yep. I, I they ran out of ants. They're, the game's like, okay, listen, this guy had enough. Oh, never mind. We just jinxed ourselves. It's disgusting how, like, I'm, like, I'm kind of mutilating these ants, too. And they're still, like, trying to kill me. Oh, half my, half my face is blown off. Let's kill this human. Watch three more pylons come. If they give me more pylons, I'm going to get so upset. I wouldn't be surprised if they do that, though. We're getting there, guys. The pylon is pretty cracked right now. Just a couple more hundred bullets, and I think we'll be done. Any minute now. Any minute now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm also kind of mad, too, because I see the allies on the right of the map with the blue dots, and they're just like, oh, yeah, let, let the civilian do all the work. Man.
at least they're being kind of generous with the spawning of the ants. Like, they're not like 24 7 like the other pylon was being. That one was just evil. Let that ant live for the time being, as long as it doesn't kill me. Oh, it's, it's bothering me right now. And that's what you get. Alright. Almost done. Does ra there we Does raid work on these things? I would... Wouldn't, wouldn't that be great if it, if it does? Uh, <laughs> yay! A weapon! A weapon! I, I couldn't grab it. <clears throat> well, our hard work paid off. Look at all these weapons we got. And then look at, what, 17 armor. Whew! That should not have taken that long. Let's go ahead and set up what my new thing is going to be. I'm, gonna take, I'm looking at the accuracy now. This one's a, okay. This one's a B. 18.1, 10 to 09. Well. Wow. Look at that. It's 27 capacity. So it, it, I got to reload a lot more. It's 2.4 seconds. It's, it's not... Terrible. The range is kind of high up there. The shot speed's insane. I, it's just the capacity that's going to bother me. I don't know. Hmm. I want to try out this GNM. And I, so we got. More of these. A sniper rifle, though. <coughs> now, this one. The three round bursts. Reload time isn't terrible. Accuracy is, is amazing. Uh, a nine capacity. So, I basically. I had to take three shots or th three hits, and then I got to reload. I might, I might do that. I think I also got. An, all right, yep. We'll, we'll try a sniper rifle. Why not? Oh, holy crap! Look what I got. I got a bike. I got what the hell's a blacker? It's a tank. Hell yeah! What else is this though? Uh, a protective suit, both strong and light. Ooh, a multiple lock-on device. Nah, I don't really use missiles too often. Probes and collects surrounding items. Nah. I mean, it's convenient, but nah. Oh, man. I, I, I guys, I kind of want that tank. Why not? All right. All right. Holy crap. Anything is better than that piece of shit slugger. Yes, for sure. <coughs> okay, guys. Man. Blacker sounds like a porno name. Jesus. Um, was it worth the effort? I, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Either way, we're going to go ahead and take a break right now, ladies and gentlemen. I should have taken one like half hour ago, but screw it. Uh, we'll take a good five minute break. We're going to come back and play some more EDF. See you guys in a little bit. <laughs> 